My mother had 12 kids, but only nine survived. I'm the eighth child. We were born in this town in Brazil called Recife. It's like a really old city, and there's a lot of rivers. It's called the Venice of Brazil. So today I have a lot of water in my work. I love the water. Actually, when I moved to Miami, you know, I always thought that Miami reminds me a little bit about Recife because of the water. I have this sense of being open to possibilities and dreams. Today I still want my life to be like my pain. It's colorful, happy, where everything's possible, where there's no limit, doing my best. I feel like I've been creating some sort of vocabulary that I've been you know, talking to people all these years. I love colors since I was a kid, but, and I also like the idea of putting things together and being clean. Slowly through the years, I start adding the pastels and more the metallics, more the texture. It's been a whole evolution to my work. is very interesting working with the different material or different object or surface you know instead the canvas to work in plastic or wood and all kind of materials that's out there I definitely want to reach as many people as possible share my work with as many people as possible In the Miami Children's Museum is a place where kids, if they're curious, they can develop more curiosity. It's like a playground that you can learn, you know, and, and it's good for the child and for the parents. And I think every city should have a place like that. It's a good place to have my work, a place of education, a place of inspiration. The idea of reaching out, be able to jump and dream and fly, and it's just like, that's the idea of that sculpture over there. The museum is very symbolic, of reaching out, you know, for, for another world and for their dreams and everything. I think that's one thing that's so important for somebody to be able to dream and think about that it's possible. I'm really honored that my work is over there, and this year they're going to be honoring me. Creating images of hope. I just want to do something that's going to be inspiring to other people and somehow useful to other people too. My art is about love and passion. If you are able to inspire somebody, I think it's the most incredible thing.